Hey guys, this is going to be my weekly video for you guys to do your weekly check-in with. And this might seem a little late in the game, but you know, we're learning new things about Kidum all the time and just learning how to read it and how to adapt to the way distance learning works. And so I thought it might be helpful for you for to see what Kidum looks like on the teacher side compared to what it looks like on the student side because now that I've had a chance to see what it looks like on the student side, I can see how it is very confusing sometimes to figure out what you're supposed to do each day. And so I thought I'd just kind of show you how I set up the lessons and then how they end up looking on the other side. So this is the teacher side of Kidum. And when I build my lessons, I build a description that goes under the day. So I've got this heading this was our lesson for last Friday and this Monday in English 4. And then I have a description. This, these are the four things that we are doing in class that day. And then underneath it, attached to the same lesson shell, are the four activities in order. And so this to me makes sense. This is one day, one lesson, four activities, and they're all stuck there together as part of that day's lesson. But then when I put them over into my classroom and I, I drag those over into my class is kind of the phrasing we use for that, they end up looking like this on your side. It breaks it up into five different boxes. And that description that looks so neat and orderly on my page is looks like a separate activity on your page. And so until I figure out a better way to do this, if you can get into the habit of clicking on that day's activities and kind of use this as your checklist, these are the four things that we're going to do that day. There's nothing on here that is itself an activity. This just lays out for you what the activities are going to be. And then for each activity, you can see on here too, it messed up my order. Like the ACT skill that was bell work and says number one got bumped to the bottom. And that's why I started putting the numbers on there is so that you can see kind of the sequencing that you should follow here. Do your ACT bell work. Then there's a review video for the battle with Grendel. Then the next thing we're going to do is read a new section of the story. And then you've got homework. And that's all laid out for you here on the description section that is going to look like a separate activity on your side of Kidum. The other thing that I wanted to point out to you is some confusion with where these things post. And I'm working on being better about changing the date that's on here. It automatically, every time I slide something over to students, will automatically make it due the following Friday. Really, all the stuff that I post is intended to be completed within a 90-minute period. So nothing should take you until Friday unless it's a longer assignment, and it will say that inside the assignment. A good example of that is this BOAST assignment that I gave my English 4 students. It says on the assignment page when it is going to be due. And so I couldn't change it to Monday until today because then it would have bumped it up into the next week. As you can see, now it's under this week and you wouldn't have seen it anymore. So I'm kind of trying to figure out how to keep the assignments in the order that you need to see them and not the order in which they're due. Because if I assign something on Monday that's due on Friday, I want you to be working on it starting on Monday. But if I put Friday, then you might wait until Friday to actually do the assignment. So I'm um, I'm trying to get better about the way that I label things and the way that I label the graded activities that are in here as well. So like this one says it does not count toward the grade. That's not accurate. This activity right here does count toward your grade. And the way Kidum asks teachers to label this stuff is kind of confusing. And we also have to do it every single time we drag it over to a class. I'll just quickly show you how many classes I have in Kidum. And every time I drag an assignment over, I have to change it each time in each class. 
And so that's why sometimes I might get it right for first period, but then third period sees different information. And poor sixth period, I know I've like doubled up and put assignments in their class twice, more than once. I'm not sure why it's always used sixth period. I'm sorry. And so I, I just kind of wanted to give you that kind of behind the scenes of Kidum to maybe help you understand what teachers are looking at and what teachers are struggling with. So if you can try to maybe think of each day that you see the stuff post, I know it looks overwhelming, like you've got five lessons for one English class, but if you try to think of it, that the way that I built it was for it to be like five small activities inside a class shell, then I think that that is going to help you to kind of imagine what the what the day is supposed to look like, that you can follow each of those activities. Um, so let me know in the feedback in the form if this was helpful for you or if you have any questions or if there are still things about Kidum that are not making sense, because I'm sure there are. We're still learning how to operate it all the time. And we'll just keep working through this together, guys.